As several states certify Joe Biden's win, President Trump is now turning on some figures of his own party. ABC's Andrew Dimbert reports he's been coming after Republican leaders for how he feels they've handled their state's elections. Phoning into a meeting in Arizona, a state Trump lost, he continued to promote conspiracy theories that the election was stolen from him. The 2020 election was rigged. It was a scam and the whole world is watching and they're laughing at our country. They're laughing at us. Trump has also been lashing out at his allies, turning his attacks on Republican Arizona Governor Doug Ducey, who he once endorsed. You have a governor named Ducey who just rushed, good to go faster. He just rushed to sign certificates. Ducey defending the integrity of the vote in his state, writing in a lengthy tweet, we have some of the strongest election laws in the country. In Georgia, another state where Biden narrowly beat Trump, the president turning on state GOP leaders, blasting Governor Brian Kemp and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger on Twitter as hapless and obstinate for not voiding legally cast ballots in the state. Once this recount is complete, everyone in Georgia will be able to have even more confidence in the results of our elections. Despite the massive amounts of misinformation that is being spread by dishonest actors, all six states that Trump or his allies have legally contested have now been certified for President-elect Joe Biden. Arizona, Wisconsin, Georgia, Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. Georgia is gearing up for two Senate runoff races, but there's growing concern in GOP circles that Trump's claims of widespread voter fraud could discourage Republican turnout, thereby handing Democrats control of the Senate and the White House in 2021. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, Washington.